All right, so we're back today. We got the cooling fan, and we get to throw this in here and see how badly I screw up the fabrication of the crossover pipe for the turbo. So, lots of fun. Let's get rolling. All right, so first off, we got ourselves a big fan. This is a Flexalite, I think they call it a Black Magic 188. It flows a good 3000 CFM and has its own shroud set. So that's what I decided to go with. All right, so let's just go test thing, this thing out and see how much room we have. All right, so this thing slides right on in here. It's pretty much like that. So, I guess let's get some brackets and see what we can rig up here. I'm thinking we can just catch the edge of the radiator here. Throw a couple bolts in. Hmm. Let's see what I can do here. If I can get that there. All right, well, I'm going to attempt to give this thing a bend and we'll see where it takes us. All right, so mount one is done. We're just going to mount that right up like that. That's on, not going anywhere. So, I think it's time to do the other one. Hopefully it ends up about the same. All right, so we got the rest of the brackets on there. And, see, right before we fire her up, it's like we still haven't created our other uh, radiator support piece here. So let's just fire this thing up and see how airflow works. Alright, so 
So this beast fan definitely needs a speed controller. Because that is a whole lot of fan. That should cure up a lot of heating issues that we might run into. I'm liking it. Alright, and then for a simple tip, you know these uh, stupid brake flare things that don't really ever work? They work good for using for clamping dies for bending these brackets. So that helped out a lot because I didn't have a tool that could hold something really well and bend it in such a small area. But hey, that was perfect th thickness. So, now let's go back to the side view here and see how we're going to do this turbo crossover. Alright, hopefully, hopefully that sheds a little bit of light. So previously, we had this thing rigged up where it went across something like that. And that's not quite going to fly. So, what I'm thinking I should end up doing is, I think we can aim this down here. If we get at the right angle, we can be mostly away from the alternator. If we can get it on this side of the it's like we might be touching the uh, roll bar, but I don't think that should really matter. It's like with that heat wrap, we should be pretty decent on heat transfer. If it gets a little bit weird, there should be enough room to fit like a aluminum shroud or something. So I think we're going to just barely survive that. So yeah. Let's pull this guy. and finish bolting this thing together. All right, so I guess that's fan and radiator back in. So now we got a place to go off there. I'll probably search around to try to find some sort of hoses to attach to it so I can make sure when I rebuild that crossover pipe that I get the right one. So I don't wanna run into any other issues. It'll still be a little bit tight down here with uh, Everything from the power steering cooling and all that type of stuff, but we got enough side underneath this area that we can mess around with. So, hopefully that's going to be it. But it's at least it for today, and we'll check you again later.